What's going on guys, Thin Mamba here and it's another day and today we are going to talk about Chainsaw Man and my review over it, quick thoughts because I finally caught up to the current chapter which is 75 at this moment and I binge read this entire manga in like a day or two so I have fresh thoughts and though I might not have impressions of someone reading it week to week as they come out with each chapter I wanted to give you my full thoughts and review for what I think about this manga and whether or not you should read it. I made a top 10 reasons you should read this manga the other day, basically, and I highly recommend you watch that video, but the series was created by Tatsuki Fujimoto, amazing artist. He made this story really good. The pros, the cons, what I think are problems with this story, but at the same time, things I really love about it. So let's get right into it. I want to talk about what I liked about this first before I start bashing in on the cons of this manga. And there aren't that many, but I love the art. I love the cryptic creatures. I love the ghouls, the devils, the demons, and the characters. You have this one girl named Power and her relationship with Denji and then the other characters. It's just hilarious. And it was like a poll vote on who was the favorite character in the manga and it was her power and I was like I'm not surprised and funny enough the main character Denji came in like sixth in there and so I don't know maybe they're doing something weird but I like how the manga always subverts my expectations and it's not like in One Piece where you're reading it and they do something that's crazy it's more like hey do I want to like fight this devil or be on his team and then the answer is like well if he's nice to me then I guess I'll just be on his team like I don't know they make a lot of decisions that are just like out of the common way of thinking and that's what kind of kept me hooked into reading each next chapter and there's this other manga called Jujutsu Kaisen it's also about ghosts demons ghouls all that kind of good stuff it's very similar to ch uh, Chainsaw man but I really couldn't get past chapter 10 16 ish I just felt like Although a lot of cool things were happening in Chainsaw Man, what kept me reading to every new chapter was the sub expectation change. Like whenever I felt like one thing was gonna happen, something else happened and it made me laugh. There was a lot of moments in this manga, like a lot where I just laughed out loud and was like, ha, because it was just good comedy and the characters do funny things. Denji does it all the time, but then things kind of get serious but a lot of times it's just very playful. Uh, and maybe that's one of the cons for this, but let, we'll get into that later in the video. So like I said, my last video, I cannot wait for this manga to be animated like Chainsaw Man right now in the manga form it kind of feels like a rough draft and I feel kind of mean saying that but in the anime form I feel like a lot of the problems that I had with this manga will be fleshed out more. Another thing I liked about it is the relationship between the characters. I loved how they grew and became more friends the longer the series went on and it kind of makes sense how they think and how they let like their demon mind kind of what with Denji specifically how his demon mind kind of just makes relationships a specific way. I'm trying not to spoil you guys again, but uh, there was this one moment where he's making a decision whether he should be with one person or another person. And at the end of the day, he kind of decides that either one would work, whichever one works, works. And then luckily enough, one of them goes and the other one stays and he ends up with that decision. But I think how they make his demon mind affect his choices and whether he cares or not, because he comes from very like poverty stricken, like backstory. It was just a story that was unique and fun. I really like Denji. I think he's a good character. I think as the protagonist, he does a good job. And you can see him grow as a character from like being a little kid to trying to make sense of the world by more demon battles and making friends. And I like that whole growth structure. So that was a little bit about what I like. Now let's get into the cons because I hate to say this, I have more of them than I would like. And I'm trying to be the nice guy, but the art sometimes just gets a little sloppy. It's kind of like a sketchbook. I recall like 
in my last video, I was like in chapter 30. Well, from chapter 40 to like 60, it has a lot of chapters. It was really hard for me to understand like the paneling and how they would do flashbacks and cut to different characters and different scenes and then cut back to Denji and what he was doing. It was just kind of sloppy and I didn't always understand when that was happening and when it wasn't. It felt like a sketch, it felt like a rough draft and though I will say that's kind of the style of the artist. He does a really good job in the start of the manga from like the first 30 chapters you're in it and you're like looking at the art and everything makes sense it's fun it's one storyline but once you start showing off different characters and I hate to say this but a lot of the characters look the same when it comes to like the side characters the, all the main characters have unique looks but some side characters they would introduce like five different characters at one time but they wouldn't like show like a underlying like name tag of who that person was they would just say it in a dialogue box so you don't really know who they're talking about but then in the next second they would just die and then you'd be like oh well i guess i don't need to put the effort into memorizing that but that slowed me down when i was reading the manga i was like going by and just looking at the page and then i would stop and try to see who's who and then like the next chapter they'd be gone and i'd be like oh well you know whatever but yeah i felt like the choices for that is kind of just unfortunate warning alert we're about to get into some spoilers so if you don't want to hear that just skip to this time spot in the video but yeah i'm getting into it this is your warning so there was this whole arc about bounty hunters coming out to the denji because of his chainsaw power and so they're all coming from around the world to just meet him in japan and capture him and then they go to this island to like get denji out of the thick of things but then they don't and he's at some mall and that whole arc got me really confused because it had to do a lot with like Santa Claus and like this doll kind of puppetry demon slash devil and then all of a sudden out of nowhere they're fighting in this mall with a whole bunch of different like puppets they flash into this berserk kind of like dimension warp into this new world with a bunch of doors and they fight this devil and everybody gets slaughtered like they just zero to 100 all the good guys die and the villains too and they're all killed by this one demon and i was so like i thought it was cool but i did not know what was going on there was kind of a build-up but it kind of didn't work and this is where i feel like the anime will do it more justice but in the manga reading for those five chapters that went into that and that built up to that and maybe the 10 chapters that were introducing all the villains <laughs> I was kind of confused. I didn't know their names really. It was hard to like just absorb it all, right? And maybe this because I read it all in like basically a day, but at the same time, I was just like there for the art. I was there for Denji, seeing what was gonna happen next. So then they're in this devil world and it's like berserk, everybody's dying. And they overcome that and they beat it barely. They make it up by the thick of their skins and then there's not really any backlash. It's like we're back to the normal world. Yeah, a lot of people have died. But it seems like death isn't like a big thing because like the main characters are still alive. Yeah, they're missing an arm or something. But like it just doesn't have the weight of a typical story where it's like, oh, dang, that sucked. That just happened to me. It's like the story just went on and all the characters were just nonchalant. Like, yeah, I guess we're going to the next arc, which whatever that's about. And I just felt like i was really upset that there wasn't more weight attached to that whole situation you know in berserk when something bad happens and things hit the fan and then it really really hits the fan and all of a sudden you're in berserk's demon world well it was almost there and i was like dang this would this is crazy and it almost get almost gets there and then it just stops and it's like wait never mind let's reverse it back a little bit and so now they're still in the normal japan world and it's fine and then the power scaling i get it it doesn't really work too well for me because it's like there was this whole training segment of this one master teaching denji and power how to use their power more but they didn't really use their power more they were just smarter about the way they did things versus getting more stronger but then they do show different abilities later on but it was just kind of felt half-baked it didn't really go too much into it and i didn't see any details i wanted to it was like let's just throw a training montage in there because we need our characters to get stronger but let's not really make them that much stronger it was just kind of bittersweet but yeah after all that once chapter 60 hit all the way to 75 now it was a pretty good coast it got back to like being 
it's got back from not being so chaotic and confusing and focusing more on the main storyline. Um, and so I appreciated that. I'm gonna keep on reading this, but really what this manga series makes me feel like is that it's a popcorn series, which is enjoyable to read. It's exciting to see where it goes. It's very gory. It's not safe for work. Uh, it's just cryptic, you know, but I enjoy that. And yeah, I read it in a day. So for what that's worth, it was a fun time. I read it in a day. I don't regret it. I think it's a great story for just that. There are some problems, but at the same time, like they weren't enough to make me stop reading. And it's more of a nitpick, really. I think overall, the story is really solid. It's great. It is what it is. And it's not to be taken seriously, right? The whole series is about a guy that turns into a chainsaw with his head and his arms, and he's on this adventure with other characters. So like, it's just for fun. And that's what I'm gonna take it as, you know? It is just for fun. But yeah, that's my review, quick thoughts. If I could give this some popcorn pops out of 10, I would give this seven popcorn pops out of 10, seven gallons of water out of 10 gallons of water. It was nice and enjoyable and i got through it so you guys have a great day this is thin signing out leave a comment let me know what anime or manga you're reading right now or what i should review next peace